My dear students, our Torah portion, Truma, features the building of the Mishkan, the tabernacle that served as a portable house of worship and sacrifice during the 40 years in the wilderness and thereafter temporarily in Israel. Those who engaged in its construction were to be wise and pure of heart. The story is told of Sir Christopher Wren, noted architect of London's famed St. Paul's Cathedral. While directing its construction, he walked among his workers incognito. He asked one builder, my good man, what are you doing? Gruffly, he replied, I am piling up bricks. The architect asked a second worker the same question. He replied, I am working to make five shillings a day. When he asked a third worker, what are you doing? The eyes of the man lit up and reverently he declared, I am helping Sir Christopher Wren build a cathedral to God. These three workmen reveal a deep truth. The first epitomize those who view life as a dull, uneventful, boring routine. They go through life doing little but piling up bricks. The second exemplified those interested only in the pursuit of money. But the third worker illustrated the power of enthusiasm when imbued with a cause, the excitement generated by a heart willing to sacrifice for a noble good, the idealism aroused by dedication to building something that would serve God by serving man, the vision to create something that would outlive his own span of years and contribute to the future well-being of others. The tabernacle could have been seen simply as a place of wooden curtains, of walls and supports created by piling up bricks. Its builders could have seen it as a way to earn a reward for services rendered, akin to making five shillings a day. Instead, it was created with wisdom and appreciated as a house of God, as a center of concentrated holiness. We can choose how we see our lives, as a daily piling up of bricks in numbing routine, as a means to make money and add to our bank accounts, or as an opportunity to construct out of our lives a cathedral to God, noble of purpose, holy in execution, and sacred in its being. Shabbat Shalom.